What is up guys? My name is Ken and welcome to Hobby Harvest. Today I want to talk to you about green manure. Now if you're thinking, Ken, what the heck is green manure? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to let you know and I'm going to tell you how it can help your food plots. Well, let me read the actual definition to you quick. It is a fertilizer consisting of growing plants that are plowed back into the soil. Now, I don't actually plow them back into the soil. I just crimp them and let them die on top. So what I use is buckwheat. And how I do that is I seed it about the middle of summer. And I'll get into the more specifics about exactly when to plant it later. But you plant it in about midsummer, And then you let it grow right up until the time that you want to plant your fall forage seeds in your food plot. And then you throw those seeds down into the standing buckwheat. You crimp the buckwheat and it helps build the soil and really gives you a good base for your fall forage seeds. So what are the advantages of using buckwheat as a green manure? Well, first off, like I said, it helps to build your soil. It really improves your soil. Now the actual stalks themselves aren't really what helps build the soil, but the roots that grow stay in the soil and they decay and hold there. A lot of the stuff on the surface is going to dry out and then like blow away somewhere else. But that's okay because you're still going to have a lot of those nutrients stay right there in your soil where you're going to plant your fall plot seeds. The other thing that it really helps to do is it is a great way to suppress weeds in the summer. So since that buckwheat grows so fast and so lush, it chokes out everything else in your food plot, which is really good for not having to use a ton of chemicals in order to keep control of those weeds before you plant your fall forage seeds again. So then your fall forage seeds are going to go into a bed that is hopefully almost completely weed free. The last thing that it helps to do that I've noticed in the last year or two is I have a lot of turkeys in the area and there seems to be more and more turkeys every year and every time I plant seed it seems those turkeys come to the plot immediately to scratch through and eat all my seed while those buckwheat stalks laying flat over my seeds makes it a lot harder for them to come in and eat up all of my seed. So what prep work is required before planting buckwheat as a summer cover crop that will ultimately become green manure. Well, first off, you're going to want to chemically treat your plot. So what I recommend is spraying three times, two to three weeks apart. So what I do is I spray glyphosate at two quarts per acre, and I spray 2,4-D at one pint per acre. This helps completely eliminate all of the weeds in the plot before you put down that buckwheat seed. But once that buckwheat seed is down, it's going to outcompete everything else and you won't have to worry about weeds for the rest of the year, hopefully. But if this isn't a first year food plot, if this is an established food plot, you may not need to spray three times. I know that I've gotten away with spraying just one time before and the buckwheat ended up still being successful. But where I started a first year food plot last year, I definitely got those three sprayings in because I had just a ton of native vegetation that needed to be killed off before I got the food plot established. So once you've gotten all of those native weeds and that native vegetation taken care of, that is when it t is time to plant your buckwheat. And you want to plant 50 pounds per acre but I have found that in my northwest Wisconsin food plots, the deer browse the buckwheat down during the summer. And in my southeastern Wisconsin food plot, they do not touch it all summer long. So I'm actually going to increase that seeding rate a little bit in my northern plots in order to provide a thicker, lusher stand of buckwheat since I can count on the deer browsing it down and thinning it out. But in my southeastern Wisconsin plot, I'm going to stick with that 50 pounds per acre. And this is just something that you guys, if you've never done this before, will have to adjust year to year. Just like anything food plot related, you'll have to figure out what's best for your specific situation and adjust year to year. Now, okay, when's the best time to plant your buckwheat? But first, guys, if you feel like you're getting some value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more awesome videos like this in the future but we'll get into when to plant that buckwheat. 
Well, it's going to be different depending on what part of the country you're in, but when you know the date that you want to plant your fall forage seeds, you want to plant your buckwheat six to seven weeks before that. And that is a very tight number because that is when the buckwheat is mature enough to be crimped, but hasn't gone to seed yet. Now, I made the mistake last year of planting the buckwheat too early and it went to seed and I had the issue of planting buckwheat seeds in with all of my fall forage seeds. Now, in half of my plot, that ended up not being an issue. They just acted as sort of like a nurse crop. But on my brassica, half of my plot, the buckwheat was out competing the brassicas. And I had to go in there with a weed whacker and chop the tops off of all of the buckwheat in order to let the brassicas pop back through and get some sunlight. So you definitely want to stick to that six to seven weeks before your fall plant date. So for me in northwestern Wisconsin, I'm targeting the fourth week of June to the first week of July to plant the buckwheat up there. Now down here where I live in southeastern Wisconsin, I'm targeting the second week to the third week of July to plant my buckwheat make sure you stick to those plant dates because that's going to put your fall food plot at the ideal time and the ideal growth for the fall hunting season. So now that you got the buckwheat in the ground, you hope for some rain so that it starts to grow and it will grow like a weed because it grows so fast and so thick and so lush that it outcompetes everything else. So it is actually really easy to grow, but Let's fast forward to that six to seven week time period later. So like I said, you wanna throw your fall forage seeds down into the standing buckwheat. You then want to crimp that buckwheat with anything from a cultipacker to a lawn roller to even in some more secluded areas in Northern Wisconsin where I couldn't get any equipment in, I literally took some sheets of plywood and cut them into sizable strips or manageable strips and tied paracord to them and went through the woods and like stomped down like crop circle style the buckwheat in order to crimp it. Now those were a lot smaller plots so it was a lot easier to do that. I would not recommend doing that with a acre size plot or bigger because it would you'd be out there all day. But it did work. Now once it's crimped you're going to want to hit it up with glyphosate just one last time. Not the 2,4-D but the, just hit it up with the glyphosate. The glyphosate's not gonna hurt your seeds that are down in the soil with the buckwheat laying on top of it. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna just hit up that buckwheat, make sure that it doesn't pop back up. It shouldn't, but, and then any other weeds that happen to be growing in your plot at the time, this is just your last opportunity to get some glyphosate down on them in order to make sure that your fall forage seeds make it into the hunting season with as little weed competition as possible. So that's it. That's how you use green manure. That buckwheat will decay and provide a lot of nutrients for your fall forage seeds. And it'll make your plants more lush. It'll help build your soil over the years too. So if you do this year after year after year, you'll find that your food plots are actually improving year after year as well because the soil's becoming so much better year after year. Now, if you guys are still super brand new to this and aren't quite sure where to put your food plots on your property, if you haven't put them in yet, check out this video right here because I explain exactly where you need to be putting them.